So I'm going to ask you again, my dear respected brothers and sisters. Do you want Jannah? I'm going to ask again, man. Say again, bro. Claim it, yeah, akhi. The same way you claim that car that you got parked outside. Cuss me, bro. You see the turbos, bro? You see those exhaust pipes? That's the noises they do, yeah. So you were the same way you claim that car and you took pride in that car, claim the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala like that today. Start with yourself. Because we're so busy blaming the scholars. We're so busy blaming the people of knowledge, our imams, the, 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 the Muslim leaders. Akhi, what about yourself, bro? They're going to be accounted for every single position that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gifted to them. But what about the position that he gave to you? How are you going to answer to that, bro? You're so busy pointing fingers at them. And let me tell you something, it's from a Muslim. When you do not concern yourself, you, do, you don't get involved in things that doesn't concern you, my brother. We live in a time and age, Akhi, the likes and the shares and the followers that you have online is what gives the man a status in our society. Our real status is the people of knowledge. And it's a shame that when they come from abroad to come and give the rules in this country, there's a handful of brothers, then you've got waste men like me. That coming and stand in front of you and we've got a full house. I'm going to speak for myself, not no one else that's going to come on this panel. Why are we giving priority to a waste man like me? Huh? Why? When the scholars that dedicated their whole life to the deen of Allah and the knowledge, we neglect them. We neglect them. And let me make it clear to my brothers and my sisters here. As your brother, if I make my mistakes... Akhi, come and correct me. As your brother, come and fix me and put me in my place. This is why I've got to give a big shout out to our Sheikh Murtaza Khan, our Sheikh Abu Taymiyyah. The other day, Mufti Meg took me into a private room. He G-checked me too. So shout out to him as well. He put me in my place. He advised me. At the same time, a big shout out to my beloved Sheikh Imam Shakil. This is a man coming from the roads. This is a man that put himself out there and squashed and diffused any type of beef that, that was killing on both sides. And these are the people that we need to go to, bro. I get thousands of thousands of messages. Allah is my witness. I get between 600 to 1,000 DMs a day. I don't know why you're coming to me, I'm not your therapist. Because the only company you have in this world is the company of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the only vision you have in this world is the vision of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And the only comfort you have in this world other than your grave is the Qur'an. It's the Qur'an. It's the Qur'an. And if your Qur'an has rust on it, sorry, if your Qur'an has dust on it, akhi, then you have failed as a Muslim. It's time for you to fix up. If your salah has rust on it, akhi, get that DW40, whatever it's called, akhi, and make that into interpretation of being, make it your wudu, ya akhi. So if your salah has rust on it, akhi, perfect your wudu and start praying. Allah is waiting for you, bro. Allah has never turned his back. And ask yourself, who moved? Was it me or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? It was you. It was I. It was us as an ummah. Because we connected to this, to this dunya and the likes of it. No wonder we're all going through trials and tribulations. So I'm going to make one more dua, inshallah wa ta'ala. And I want every single one of us to say ameen. And some of you are like, why am I saying ameen? I'm going to make it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all shifa, ameen. Because every single one of us is sick in one way or another. Some of us mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, verbally. We're all sick. 